Hey guys, my name is Brent Colby, and I would like to welcome you to the Theology of Ministry Essentials. We are jumping in week one, day one for this excellent course, and I am excited to be your instructor. Um, that's all. I'm just excited to be your instructor. So uh, this video is just to give you a quick rundown of the syllabus. Go ahead, pause this video, open it up. Um, all right, good. I'm sure you all totally did that. Now we're going to walk through the syllabus. Just a few things I want to highlight. Uh, we are jumping in. This course, of course, is seven weeks long. It follows the same rhythm that all of your other courses do. That is a combination of quizzes, uh, discussion forums, and responses, as well as applied learning assignments. The final project for this class we will discuss in a week or two. You should go ahead and peek at it. It is, of course, your um, final project. It's uh, kind of the summative project of all you've been learning in the course. So. Pull that up, check, take a look at it now so you're not caught off guard looking at it in six weeks. Not that you would wait that long, but someone theoretically might do something like that. So first things first, uh, the description of the course. The course grounds the local church ceremonies and ordinances of infant dedication, water baptism, communion, weddings, and funerals in a biblical theology and guides vocational minister in how to prepare for and conduct them. This is like Pastor 101 course. Now, many of you, your ministries are going to look like a bunch of different things, but if you are interested in a life calling to vocational ministry, at some point or another, someone is going to ask you to dedicate a, ba uh, dedicate a baby. You've probably already had friends ask you if you would do their wedding ceremony, etc. This just gives you a theological and practical background on how this stuff actually works. Um, a lot of these things you may not use for a while. Uh, that's cool. Put a bookmark in it, come back to it, and you'll see in some of our texts there are some uh, good basics uh, resources that you can come back to. Um, the outcomes for the course, to describe the vocation and call of pastoral ministry in the church. This is a huge one. You should be able to do this. Examine the biblical foundation, theology, and practice of infant dedication, water baptism, communion, marriage, and memorial service slash funeral. No biggie there. Number, next one, uh, evaluate atonement theories as a key theological factor, unifying these ordinances and ceremonies as tools to promote community within the church body. Little uh, theology there and ecclesiology, this is how the church works. Prepare biblically sound and inspiring worship services or ceremonies to include infant dedication, water baptism, communion, marriage, and memorial service, a.k.a. funeral. So, practical stuff. Required texts. If you haven't already, jump on Amazon. Order these. The first one is a contemporary handbook for weddings and funerals and other occasions. This book uh, is not going to be your new favorite book that you've ever read, but it will be an excellent resource. I highly recommend you start with a book like this. You will have this one on your shelf, so pull this one out. It's a great place to start when you are conducting any one of those ceremonies. Next one is by McGrath, The Christian Theology Reader. Uh, next one is by Scott McKnight, A Community Called Atonement. It's where you're going to find most of our atonement theology here, tying these together. And... Um, as always, you'll have additional resources plugged in the online platform. Um, course policies, you're familiar with those. Uh, let me see. The rest of it is pretty much, uh, you see the grading percentages. That's the grading breakdown. At the end of the semester, you'll be given a grade. You'll be not be given a midterm assessment. Uh, you're all probably very familiar with that. Writing guidelines. Um, I'm a bit of a stickler for writing guidelines, so please make sure that you are following the described writing guidelines in the uh, assignment description. Often, these are not assigned to you. I would recommend you using what you are most comfortable or competent with. Um, for this discipline, Chicago or Turabian is kind of the industry standard. If you've not learned that yet, uh, you may want to, if you especially are wanting to continue on in your studies, uh, that's something you're going to want to figure out how to use sooner than later. Um, but MLA is perfectly fine. I would not recommend using APA. Um, if you've never heard of APA, don't even Google it. It'll scramble your brain. It's not worth it. It's just not worth it, guys, unless you want to. All right, uh, weekly assignments starting on page seven there. It just starts breaking down where we're going. 
and I'm sure you're familiar with the, um, how that flow works. So um, what we're doing this week um, is we're going to go bleh, click, click, click. We're going to be uh, sorting out the atonement as the basis for the local church community. So this is where we're kind of kicking off here. Um, and it should be a pretty, we kind of just jump right in. We're going to be in McKnight's text right away. Um, reading pages 1 to 114. Yes, you heard that right. It's due by Sunday. It's time to start reading right now. It's only 10 pages a day if you started three days ago and you had four extra pages. So just think of it that way. It's really easy. Um, you guys are going to crush it. Uh, there's eight questions about the document. There is uh, a template. Uh, please remember when you're using templates to include a header. Um, and uh, that is your name and everything else on there so we know the basics. And uh, your responses should only be 75 to 100 words. That is not a lot. That's like a paragraph. So I'm not looking for a paper on each one of these questions, but I am looking for complete answers. Um, so that's it. Uh, man, I'll post, uh, I try to post a video every week if I get a chance to and my computer's participating. Um, otherwise, guys, please feel free to shoot me a text message or an email if you ever have any questions. Um, I love to help. I love teaching these classes. This is a particularly fun one. It's just the nuts and bolts of being a pastor. Um, so it's pretty fun. And uh, the, the basics, the foundational stuff is really key. Because um, I'm sure at some point you will ask yourself or someone has asked you, why do churches even have pastors? Why is this even important? Why, are we, why do we baptize people? Can't we do it differently? Or just say, you know, you're baptized. Or why don't we sprinkle? Or why don't we baptize infants, etc.? Um, there is a meaning behind it all. And some of these sacraments, as they're often called, are um, the very few like rigid traditions that we have in the church. And there's probably nothing more fun for me than to lead a church in communion, knowing that around the world there are Christians and speaking every language on every country and every continent, doing the exact same thing, remembering Christ's death until he returns again. That's a pretty special thing. And we don't have a lot of things like that. So, um, Anyways, dig in. Hope you like it. Contact me if you have any issues and um, start reading now because you're probably already behind. And on that encouraging note, I'll talk to you guys next week.